In part A, we're just going to directly apply Faraday's law since the loop is stationary. So in this case, V induced is the integration of S over S dB dt dot n hat dS. Now B does not change spatially with position, so we can set n hat in the direction of B, then B dot n hat will give us just one. And also it says it doesn't uh, change, B doesn't change spatially with S. We can just evaluate this as minus A, the area of the loop, times db dot n hat dt. So the area is, we first have a minus sign out in front. The area is 2 times 0.5. And then we have d d d t of the b field, so 0.2 sine 2 pi times 10 to the 6 t. Then we can take the time derivative, so we get minus 2 times 0.5 out in front still. We get 2 pi times 10 to the 6 from the time derivative times 0.2. And after taking the derivative of sine, we get cosine. 2 pi times 10 to the 6 t. And we want to evaluate this at omega t equal to 0. And in that case, we get minus 4 pi times 10 to the 5th volts. First, let's draw a diagram of this loop and label the positive directions. So we said n hat points in the direction of b, which is out of the screen. So by the right hand rule, if n hat is pointing up, our thumb points up out of the screen, and then a positive direction for dl is counterclockwise. So in this case, since we, uh, oh, and we can also say if this is, um, the positive direction is the counterclockwise direction. The wire is the source here, so we'll, that means that this would be the minus the negative side, and traveling around the wire in this direction, uh, this would be the positive side. Now, so since we have a negative result for our V-induced, that means that the actual direction of our V-induced is in the opposite direction of what we just drew for the positive directions. So now if I redraw this loop, the actual direction of the induced will be minus to plus uh, in this direction. In part B for number 4, we have the current is V over R, which we just plug in minus 4 pi times 10 to the fifth that we just got over 5, and that will be in amps. And so this also gives us a negative direction. So the actual direction of the current will be opposite to dl from our, in our, one of our, in part A. So the actual direction of the current will be in that direction.